Pakistan, it's in turmoil at the moment. Imran Khan has been in prison for three years. There is rumors saying it's America's job that did that because he was very neutral on Ukraine. I mean, what do you think? Have the US played a part in this? No, and I'll tell you why. It's very easy to blame the US for things like this. There are things where you can blame the US, like Maidan and the so-called revolution, the Maidan revolution in uh, Ukraine, which America has a direct impact on. Where we have a lot of proof of that for, say, removing Salvador Allende in Chile and uh, several other coups, Mossadegh in Iran and things like that. Not for this. Because if you actually read the transcripts between Donald Liu and uh, the Pakistanis, Pakistani interlocutor, who was the ambassador, I think, in uh, Washington at the time, Donald Liu is complaining. Okay? And he's telling them, and these are very normal diplomatic conversations. So, for example, I know for a fact, before we abrogated, uh, rather amended Article 370 for Kashmir, uh, there was a lot of interaction with local ambassadors and things like that where they were telling us how to go about it so that it would minimize the impact of their government uh, sanctioning us or anything like that. So knowing how diplomatic conversations take place, it requires a complete diplomatic ignoramus to blame America for what happened to Imran Khan. Imran Khan went down because Imran Khan threatened the Pakistan army. There's nothing more to it. And the Pakistan army got rid of him because he was sowing dissension within army ranks, which has never happened. Yeah, it's just there were some parallels because there's Pakistan elections, obviously, at the end of this year. And plus, Donald Trump is being indicted, how conveniently, when he should be campaigning. So you just, you know, that's why I assumed it might be the USA.